Hello everyone. Today we're going to use computer vision AI in Azure to answer a very important question. We're going to ask, is cheese a fruit? So to do this, we're going to need to deploy our own computer vision AI endpoint within Azure. We're then going to feed it some fruit pictures so it understands what fruit actually is. And then we're going to train that model. Once that model is trained, let's feed it some extra pictures to see if it can identify the differences between an apple and between cheese and answer that age old question, is cheese a fruit? So let's get straight into it and deploy our computer vision AI model. So we're going to start over here in the Azure portal and pop over to create a resource. Let's go search here for custom vision. And this is going to be for our custom vision AI app that we're going to make. So on custom vision, we can just zoom out a little bit here and we can go and click create to create our custom vision environment that we're going to work with. This is going to ask for a few details to be filled in. So we're going to choose the options of creating both prediction and training here. And we're going to deploy this to one of our existing resource groups. We'll leave this in East US, but you can deploy it to whatever region you want. And I'm just going to name this Mike Custom Vision. The training pricing tier, we're going to leave this on free for the moment because we're only going to do simple training, but you can switch this to standard if you want more compute power to train faster. The same for our prediction level as well. We're going to leave that on free for the moment. And let's go and review and create that custom vision environment. This is going to take a couple of minutes to actually create now. So let's wait for that to deploy. And it's going to deploy for us two separate objects inside Azure. One of these is going to be our custom vision training environment. And the other is going to be our custom vision prediction environment. So let's just wait for those to actually go off and deploy. OK, now if we go to the resource group, we will see that those two resources are deployed and I have two separate ones, one for training and one for prediction. So let's go off and use these custom vision resources. I'm going to pop over to Visual Studio Code now and I'm going to go and clone a repository that exists on GitHub. This contains a couple of bits of test code in C Sharp and in Python that will allow us to work with our custom vision API in a moment. So we can see here inside this Git repository, we have some lab files. And if we pop into these lab files, we have some training images. We have some images of apples. We have some images of oranges and we have some images of bananas. And these are the images that we are actually going to use to train our computer vision AI and be able to identify these fruits. So we're going to pop over to customvision.ai. This is one of our interfaces into Microsoft's custom vision solution. It's a nice little GUI interface where we can provide information, in this case, in the form of pictures of fruit, and we can actually train our models in a very quick and easy UI. So over here, we're going to create a new project and we're going to call this project um, classify fruit because that's what we're going to be doing. The description for this is going to be an image classification for fruit. And this is going to be using our Mike custom vision resource that we created earlier. This is a classification type and this is actually going to be uh, a multi-class single tag per image. And we're going to change this to a domain of uh, food because this custom vision AI actually has some general idea of what it is we're going to be looking for, but we're going to essentially provide it with more information that's more accurate in this case, the fruits that we want to classify. So we're going to go and add our images and we need to tell it what these images actually are. So we also need to tag them as we upload them. So let's first of all, come into these training images. Let's go into Apple and let's go and select all of our apples that are available to us at the moment. We're going to upload these apples and we're going to give them a tag. We're going to give them a tag of apple and we're going to do the same thing for the other fruits here as well. We're also going to go in here and going to upload the pictures of our bananas. We're also going to tag those pictures of bananas as well as we upload them. And finally, we're going to go back into add images and we're going to add in the pictures of oranges. Now, if I choose to add the oranges here without tagging them, I do have the ability to go and create those tags later. And you can see that this is filtering between tagged and untagged images at the moment. So what we can do is we can go and actually select all of these untagged images here, these pictures of oranges, and we can add a new tag and we'll just call that tag oranges or orange.
Now we've created that tag, we can go back in, we can click tag images, and we can actually attach that tag orange to these pictures of oranges. So you can see we can still do this tagging after we've uploaded our images ourselves. And we'll see we've got 15 apples, 15 bananas, and 15 oranges that are nicely tagged within the computer vision AI interface here. Now we're going to go and train the model. We've got two options. We've got quick training or advanced training. If we do advanced training, we can throw more compute power at this to get a more accurate model. But at the moment for the demo, let's just do some quick training. Now this training might take a few minutes to actually complete. The more information you give it, the longer it's going to take to complete, especially because this is on the free tier. So let's wait for that to complete its process at the moment. All right, so fast forwarding that a little bit, what we'll see is the output is this, the precision, the recall and the average precision are all sitting at 100% here for orange, banana and apple. But of course, we want to go and test this ourselves. And that's why we have the option in the top right hand corner for quick test. If we jump over to quick test, we can provide this with some images. We can either upload them or we can actually link to an image URL to see how this classification is actually working for us. So let's go and pop out to Google Images and let's go and get a picture of an apple and see if it can identify the picture of an apple. So over here in Google Images, let's just go search for Apple. Let's go and pick a, a random picture of an apple here and we'll go and get the actual URL for that specific picture. Let's put that directly here into our image URL in our quick test so we can call it and we'll see what it comes back with. It's decided that this is a 98.6% probability of an apple, which is great. So let's go and try something else. Let's try something that it doesn't know about. Let's try some cheese. What happens if we provide this model with a picture of cheese? So doing the same thing again, we'll paste the picture image of cheese here in the URL. And this is going to come back with tags of 46.6% banana, 40.8% of orange, and 12.4% of apple. Because it doesn't know what cheese actually is, it only knows the context of those three fruits. So at the moment, it's trying to extrapolate what this would be similar to. So that concludes looking at the interface on the web or customvision.ai. But we don't want to really do this through the web interface. Maybe we've actually got lots and lots of pictures that we need to upload. And to do that, we kind of need to do this in code. So let's go and check out how we would do that with a bit of Python to automatically upload files and then also automatically run that training script so we can classify things in the future. So popping back over to our VS code and we'll have a look at that test code that we've actually pulled down. What we're also going to need to do is do a quick pip install here to go and pull down the Azure Cognitive Services Vision custom vision uh, pip package to be able to work with this. And now that's complete, what we're going to have to do is actually populate the environment variables of this script with some information. Where my training endpoint is, where my training key is, and where my project ID actually is. So let's go and grab that information from our custom vision API here, and we'll go and grab our project ID, we'll go and grab our training key, and we'll go and grab our training endpoint and insert all that into our environment variables here. So our Python script can pick those up. So now those environment variables are actually picked up and by the Python code, we can actually go and run this code. What this code is actually going to do is it's going to take some images that are actually sitting in a more-training images folder inside the Python section here, and it's going to upload some more images here. So we can see that we can automatically upload images from within code just by communicating to the endpoints. So let's run that Python code now. So we can see this is now uploading these extra images into our project that's existing on computer vision. And it's going to initialize and kick off the training or more to the point, the retraining, because we've added more data into this, more information, more pictures of bananas, oranges, and apples to be able to make a more accurate model. So let's wait for that training to actually complete. Okay, our training has actually completed. So let's go pop back over to our classify fruit model and have a look at the training images that got uploaded. And we can see we now have 17 apples, 17 bananas, and 17 oranges. We have these additional images that have actually been uploaded by that Python script and retrain this model to make this model more accurate at identifying apples, oranges, and bananas.
What we also want to do with this is not just train a model through using this Python code. We actually want to interact with this model by using Python code. So we can dynamically provide this endpoint images to actually classify and return to us some tags for those actual images. So let's go check that out now. So the first thing we need to do is actually publish this model. And we're going to publish this model as a model name of fruit or uh, fruit classifier. And the prediction resource that this is going to use is actually using my dash prediction resource over here, which is the one that we've actually nicely uh, made available. This is going to be the endpoint that code can communicate to, to then be able to connect this model and provide it things for the model to classify. So looking back at the code, we have another Python environment here. And this Python environment is the test classifier. We have three images, image test one, two, and three. This is actually going to submit um, pictures of fruit to the classifier and actually return a result with a tag of what that fruit actually is. So again, we have to go into the environment variables of this Python script and adjust these prediction endpoints, the prediction keys, the, the project IDs, and the model name that I'm actually going to use to communicate to. So remember, the training system and the actual final model are two separate things, two separate endpoints there uh, between actually where I'd upload data and where I'd actually communicate to the model. So now if we fire off that code for the Python test classifier PY, we can see it's returning here. The first test image is actually that of an apple with 100% confidence. The test image two of a banana, 100% confidence. And test image three of an orange, 100% confidence. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this demo of how to use the computer vision AI. Now, of course, you can extrapolate this to thousands or even tens of thousands of images, but the process is still much the same. Submit it some test images that are already tagged to give the computer or give the AI information to know what to identify. And then you can go off and create yourself an endpoint here after training is complete to be able to send it further images that the vision AI can come back and tag for you automatically. And you know the routine, hashtag like and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video and will join me next time. Goodbye.